Behind me is Coach Walker's uh, you know, practice plan for the week. If you look at that board closely, uh, it says do not erase, and it's been a decade that uh, no one's touched that board. Coach Walker wanted it a certain way and wanted it done this way, and, um, and for the amount of time that he was a head coach, he perfected it and he, you know, he molded it here and there and you know, maybe tweaked it a little bit, but, um, but it's still the roadmap. It's still the way that, uh, that he won Big Ten championships. The fact that they've left that on the board, the, the practice schedule, is it's really touching to me. I don't see it very often, <clears throat> but when I do, it's like I always get a little choked up. Um, you know, I recognize the writing, of course, but just the fact it's been there. I mean, it's been 10 years, so that's amazing. You know, I think about Coach frequently. I mean, he's a big part of my DNA. You think about, uh, you know, the, the icons of, of head coaching in Northwestern football. You know, Gary Barnett, the, who I played for and who recruited me, is, is there, and Randy Walker uh, is there. And so I, I feel very, very blessed to have kind of both those guys, a big part of who I am, and hopefully Tammy feels like we're continuing on Coach's legacy the right way. Randy, I know it was a big part of, of Fitz's um, experience and and then having to take over in that kind of way was I know had to be hard. As we told you earlier the Northwestern football coach died of a heart attack last night at the age of 52. Uh, I just put Jack down to bed and the phone rang from Jerry Brown and, and uh, said hey are you sitting down and I, I'm like yeah JB what's going on and he's like coach Walk died. I just remember um, almost like the pit in my stomach just coming up just turning and I just sat down on the bed and I, I just was speechless. That's not something that you even anticipate, you know. Obviously, you know, the day that that happened, it was a shock and uh, you're not sure where the program's going to go right, you know, at that point in time. It was kind of like a dream. I remember getting the text, you know, it was a summer day, I wasn't in school. It was just when I woke up, Coach Cushing texted me and said, hey, Coach, you know, Coach unfortunately passed away. I'd love to talk to you as soon as possible. And it's just kind of surreal feeling because you just commit your next four or five years to, to a person that you really look up to. And then, you know, a couple of days later, he's gone. So it was, it was uh, a, a tough thing, a lot of emotions. But, um, you know, as, as Northwestern and Coach Fitz um, usually do, they stepped up to the challenge. Thursday, Fitzgerald played and won a very emotional opener at Miami of Ohio. That's the school where Randy Walker was a great running back. His memory honored by both schools before the game. Very somber. And the widow of Randy Walker, Tammy Walker, was there for the coin toss. We didn't have a great season. I, I think the way we talk about it a little bit is that at some point in that season, the tank truly got to empty for all those guys. And uh, we, we started playing good football again at the end. I think we. we we kind of banded together and, and the players really took to heart what Walkwood always said was let's play our best football in November and, and they really did and I think that, um, that started to fill the tank back up. Fitz has done a great job of I think maintaining a lot of the traditions, maintaining a lot of the uh, core beliefs that uh, Randy had. Obviously Fitz has put his own spin on a lot of this as well but I think there's still some of the same things. Uh, the, the, the trust yourself emblem that you'll see everywhere um, is still a very big part of the program, and I think that's gotten even more uh, important over time. As people get older, I think they appreciate those past, you know, relationships and, and miss him. They really do. I would prefer to much rather be, you know, roasting him as far as his longevity as our head coach right now instead of talking about his legacy. And I'd much rather be the linebacker coach, but that's not the cards we've been playing. That I hope he's proud of what we're building and that we did it, you know, standing upon the legacy that he started. But um, I really, I really do. I hope he's proud of, of what we've got going.